I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about alpha lipoic acid, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and possible side effects. Alpha lipoic acid is an antioxidant produced in small amounts in your body. You also get it from eating spinach and collard greens broccoli, beef, and organ meats. Alpha lipoic acid is a unique antioxidant because it's both water and fat soluble, meaning that it works in every part of the human cell. The more lipoic acid you have in your system, the more antioxidant benefits you experience. So, And you need alpha lipoic acid's antioxidants power oxidants power because it regenerates other antioxidants that were depleted by the ongoing fight with free radicals in your cells. It allows you to use the antioxidants vitamin C and E, glutathione, and CoQ10 already that's in your body over and over again. In fact, alpha lipoic acid is so efficient at what it does, it boosts the energy in your cells while reducing inflammation and getting rid of heavy metals. In your brain, alpha lipoic acid boosts the production of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and even increases glucose uptake in brain cells, providing you with even more mental energy. Alpha lipoic acid is used throughout your body. It helps increase insulin sensitivity, when, uh, which reduces the threat of diabetes. And ALA reduces the chances of metabolic syndrome, which is associated with cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and weight gain. Now, alpha lipoic acid comes in a couple of different versions that you should be aware of. There's the S-lipoic acid version versus the R-lipoic acid version. Lipoic acid is also known as alpha lipoic acid, ALA, and thioctic acid. The alpha lipoic acid that you uh, get in a supplement is usually a 50-50 mixture of the R form, which is natural, and the S form, which is unnatural, and antiamines. They are mirror images of each other and called a racemic mixture. Now, most commercially available forms of alpha lipoic acid include the S form, or the unnatural form of lipoic acid. It was chemically synthesized in 1952, and it's not found in nature. Now, it is thought that the two enantiomers differ biologically, but much of the research done over the last 30 years has been with the racemic version of alpha lipoic acid because the R form was not commercially available. So, S lipoic acid, the enantiomer that's not found in nature, may not produce the most essential properties of lipoic acid including interactions with the proteins, enzymes, and genes. Our lipoic acid is the form of lipoic acid occurring naturally in the human body, animals, and plants. This is the only form that functions, functions as a cofactor for mitochondrial enzymes involved in energy production. Be aware that most commercial, uh, commercially available forms of alpha lipoic acid include both the S and R forms. It's produced as a mixture because our lipoic acid, which is separated, when it's separated from the S form, is unstable and it deteriorates very quickly, making it unusable as a dietary supplement. And very few companies go through the complicated, expensive process required to remove the synthetic uh, R or SALA from RALA. So unless the bottle specifically states 100% um, R. ALA or R lipoic acid, you're getting a 50 50 blend. Know that R ALA may be up to 12 times more effective than SALA. So, how does alpha lipoic acid work in the brain? Well, it boosts uh, brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, alpha lipoic acid boosts acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter tied to memory and overall brain function. ALA increases acetylcholine production by activation of choline acetyltransferase and increases glucose, glucose uptake. So this process supplies more acetyl-CoA for the production of acetylcholine. 
The second way, alpha lipoic acid is a promising weapon in the fight against uh, diseases like Alzheimer's. Oxidative stress plays a key role in cognitive disorders because neurons are highly vulnerable to free radical damage. A recent study showed that lipoic acid may help slow down progression of Alzheimer's disease, an area where no known cure has been produced by the big pharmaceutical companies. In this study, 43 patients with dementia were given 600 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid every, every day for four years. The researchers concluded from this study, alpha lipoic acid might be a successful neuroprotective therapy option for Alzheimer's disease. So we've got research from hundreds of studies that show that alpha lipoic acid increases the production of acetylcholine, it improves memory and learning ability, it helps restore the health of neurons, it helps boost cognitive performance and memory even in Alzheimer's patients. Since it's both water and fat soluble, it quickly crosses into your brain after you take it. ALA improves your brain function and learning process by directly increasing the production of acetylcholine. Alpha lipoic acid also helps regenerate depleted antioxidants in your system, including vitamins C and E, glutathione, and coenzyme Q10. By reducing inflammation and heavy metals in your brain, you boost cognitive processes and fluid thinking. So how does alpha lipoic acid feel when you take it? Well, you may not feel ALA unless you're diabetic or you have Alzheimer's. Within these two groups, alpha lipoic acid helps with nerve pain, memory, recall, and mental performance. Alpha lipoic acid provides brain support because it has the ability to boost acetylcholine, so it, sh it should boost cognition in all age and gender groups. Now, you know that your entire body, even your DNA, is under endless assault. This assault is caused by everything from poor diet to pollution, and your brain cells are getting hit by free radicals thousands of times per day. This oxidation is damaging your cells. Antioxidants fight back against these free radicals. So when you supplement with alpha lipoic acid, not only are you using arguably the most effective free radical scavenger on the planet, you're regenerating antioxidants like vitamins C and E, glutathione, and CoQ10. And they join the fight against free radicals alongside alpha lipoic acid. Now, the research for this supplement is pretty incredible. I'm just going to touch on a couple of them here. Um, alpha lipoic acid plays an essential role in mitochondria, the heart of energy generation in the human cell. Scientists at Emory University School of Medicine found ALA stimulates telomerase, the enzyme that lengthens telomeres. The effects of many chronic diseases can be traced back to telomere shortening. Now you should know telomeres, in case you don't, is the caps on the end of each chromosome in your DNA. Any treatment that can restore healthy telomeres has great potential in the fight against chronic disease. In this study, scientists showed alpha lipoic acid boosted the production of PGC1-alpha, the telomerase that lengthens telomeres. And they did it in just one day of treatment. That's amazing. So we've got studies that shows alpha lipoic acid reduces wrinkles. Alpha lipoic acid is critical for cellular energy. Memory loss is reversed with um, alpha lipoic acid and uh, combined with acetyl L-carnitine. So to see links to uh, these studies, go to this article on Nootropics Expert. Just search for alpha lipoic acid and uh, check out the, the clinical studies behind this. They're pretty amazing. As for dosage, taking uh, alpha lipoic acid with a meal decreases the bioavailability. So I recommend taking ALA on an empty stomach, like one hour before you eat anything. Most alpha lipoic acid supplements contain a 50-50 mixture of RLA and SLA. Supplements to claim Claiming to contain only RLA are often more expensive, but information regarding their purity is often not available. P 
peak plasma or blood concentrations of RLA were found to be 40 to 50 percent higher than SLA. So this suggests that RLA is better absorbed than SLA. So for dosage, for cognitive benefits, ALA is 200 to 600 milligrams a day. ALA dosage for diabetic ner um, nerve pain is 800 milligrams per day divided into two doses. Alpha lipoic acid dosage for antioxidant benefits is 50 to 100 milligrams per day. As for the side effects, using ALA as a supplement, they're generally rare, but they can include diarrhea, fatigue, insomnia, and skin rash. Alpha lipoic acid can lower blood sugar levels. So if you have diabetes or low blood sugar, you should take alpha lipoic acid under the supervision of your doctor. Alpha lipoic acid supplementation also lowers levels of thyroid hormone. So get your thyroid labs done when you're using ALA. And adjust your dosage of both ALA and your thyroid meds accordingly. Alpha lipoic acid can also lower levels of vitamin B1 or thiamine. This is, can be especially dangerous for alcoholics or those who drink alcohol heavily. Uh, and it's also a problem for in cases of mal malnutrition. So it would be wise, if you're in either of those groups, to add vitamin B1 or salbutamine if you're taking alpha lipoic acid. The chemical structure of biotin is similar to that of alpha lipoic acid. And there's some evidence that ALA competes with biotin for transport across cell membranes. So it may require higher doses of biotin if you're using ALA. Now let's get back to the forms for a minute. Most alpha lipoic acid is available in, as a supplement as a 50-50 combination of RLA and SLA. SLA is the thin set, synthetic version um, and it's not found in nature. RLA and SLA are combined because RLA is highly unstable on its own and it degenerates quickly. Studies have shown that 30 to 40 percent of an oral dose of alpha lipoic acid is absorbed. Oral ALA supplements are better absorbed on an empty stomach. Taking ALA with food reduces total uh, plasma or blood concentrations by up to 30 percent. So take it on an empty stomach. The sodium salt version of RLA may be better absorbed than free lipoic acid, likely because of its higher stability. There is little evidence, however, whether ALA supplements are more effective, or RA, RLA supplements are more effective than regular alpha lipoic supplements in humans. So my nootropics expert recommendation for alpha lipoic acid is 50 to 600 milligrams a day. And that's my report on alpha lipoic acid. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for alpha lipoic acid. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on uh, well-known nootropics, all on nootropics expert. If you have any questions or want to share your experience using alpha lipoic acid, go to my article at, at nootropics expert and please leave it at the, uh, in the comments section at the bottom of the article. We also have a growing forum on nootropics expert. Um, there you can go to talk about anything related to nootropics or, or, or uh, optimizing your brain. If you want to see more videos on all the popular nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll put in, be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.